Hey everyone, welcome back to Everything Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to update your Microsoft Office 2016. Now this also works for Office 2011 in case you do still have that. They do still push updates for that occasionally I think the last one was in February and today we're just gonna check out how to update Microsoft Word Excel and PowerPoint now sometimes you can actually update just one program and it'll update all of them but sometimes you just want to do it for each individual program which is why I have it open all the programs here so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on blank blank and PowerPoint blank and we're gonna start off with Word and the way you update this is by going to window and before we take a look at that, I already updated this on my MacBook. And remember, I remember last time I told you guys that Preferences was not available. And now is. Uh, we want to start off with Word. And to update Word, you just want to go to Help, check for updates. And then you want to, if it's on manual, you can set it up for automatically, whether you want to check it daily, weekly, or monthly, and, or you want to have it manual. So, and it checks for updates. And it tells me that the latest update is right here. And if you want a detailed description as to what it is updating, you just want to click on this link here and it'll open your web, your web browser and show you all the updates that it comes with. Like for example here, Excel crashes upon mouse clicks. So this fixes that issue. Outlook, uh, it can crash if you start up Outlook, which I don't really use. If you do use it, it's an update for that. So the way you update now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Is just click on the update you want usually this list fills up usually it's just one update at a time so you just want to hit install and it downloads and your installer shows up here's our installer so we want to hit continue it'll take four megabytes of disk space so we hit install it's going to ask us for our credentials so I'm gonna go ahead and pop those in there and it removes everything old it puts in the new installs it successfully and it checks updates once more when you do not have updates this window will pop up here there are no updates available which means you are updated to the current version or maybe you're just not connected to the internet so check your internet connection before you do this because that's something you do need I just hit OK I'm gonna go ahead and close this let's move on to PowerPoint Again, you go down to help, check for updates. You can either have it on manually or automatically. I'm going to put it on automatic for now. Check for updates. As you can see, it has two different updates. Again, if you want to see what they're updating, you want to go ahead and click on the link here. I'm not going to do that, but there are several updates for PowerPoint. So I'm just going to have those download. And you can only download one program at a time. So if I was going to go to Excel and do that one while that one downloads, I don't think it really does that. So check for updates and it opens that same window. So we'll be back once this is done downloading. I'll see you then. All right, so our download is complete and our installer window just opened. So we want to hit continue. This one's going to take a massive 1.36 gigabytes of hard drive space. So if you don't have that, you want to make sure you have at least two gigs or more of free disk space. And we want to hit install, punch in our credentials, and it starts installing. There you have it, our installation was successful. We want to hit close, and here is our next update. So usually when there's more than one update, you're going to have to go through more than one installer. So you want to hit continue again, agree to the terms and conditions. This one's a little bit smaller, 3.5 megabytes install punch in our credentials once more and it starts installing of course the difference in time you know, of installing is based on the size of the program this one was 3.5 megabytes and it took roughly about 10 seconds the other one took about 30 seconds maybe close to 40 a minute because it was a little bigger so I'm gonna hit close it checks for updates once more and there's another update all right so I'm back now I felt like it kept looping on me so I just stopped I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Excel and we're gonna want to help go to help and check for updates manually I keep it on manually because it gets annoying when it does it automatically I don't want it to be like Windows 7 where it has to update every hour so we check for updates and there are no updates so I guess we're all up to date the only problem would be PowerPoint which for some reason keeps looping the same updates 
Oh, there we go. No more updates. So we're completely all up to date. I guess it was a bug. And that's how you update your Office Mac 2016. This will also work on 2011. So if you haven't updated it, you might want to do that because there are some bug fixes. And if you do have a Retina MacBook or a Retina Mac iMac, you want to update it because it does support Retina now and it won't look all as bad as it did before the retina update so that's it for today hope you guys found this useful and again please do consider subscribing see you in the next one